Hey everybody, it's GliderCat and it's time to play. I got us positioned here for a nice view of our entire factory so far. We've got our two research labs there in the back. There's our growing solar panel array. And then way out there is our Techno mine. And here we have Xenoferrite being mined and processed. So in this episode, or between this episode and the last episode, I cleared us off some extra room here to place to uh, maybe place a walkway and then also route our xenoferrite plates from these two assemblers out across this way. And then if you remember down here, there was a kind of a gully and I filled that in. looks like I missed a few blocks there, but uh, I filled that in so we can use this as building space. And then the other thing I did since the last episode off camera, over here by our solar array, I just stretched out the ability for us to extend this platform, excuse me, to extend this platform here. And then um, kind of the same thing, getting ready for another tier here of uh, solar panels and batteries and such. So leveled off some of the land here, did a lot of digging off camera to save us some time. The last thing I did is I was collecting some of our building blocks and I created this storage container here. And if we look inside there, I just placed about 800 building blocks and then I just saved off some of the dirt and maybe some of the stone that I, uh, that I was digging. I'm not sure if we'll have a use for that or not, but we had all the space. So I figured I'll just dump some in here and maybe we'll, we'll have a need for it. I've got a bunch left in my inventory. I can just destroy a lot of this and I'll show you how I'm doing that. I just drag it over, destroy item, confirm it. And then that stuff is gone forever. Maybe I'll keep a hundred uh, dirt on me just to fill things in. I'm not going to use the stone to fill in with yet. It looks nice, but it's a little harder to drill. So if you make mistakes, it just takes that much longer to clean it up. So we've got some... Uh, we've got some xenoferrite plates in here. We've got a good amount of technum rods in our immediate inventory. We've got some some old ore here we could probably dump off at some point to free up a inventory slot, but we'll get to that when we get to it. It's not urgent. We've got science packs are fully backed up here, way backed up. We've got 100 waiting in here. So science pack ones are all backed up, waiting for us to pick the next research. I don't think we have any. I didn't check it off camera because I wanted to do it while you guys could see. I don't think we have anything that just takes science pack ones. No, I'm pretty sure we did. We got all that taken care of. So we need to get the science pack twos going and route those into our uh, research lab too. And so that's where we're at right now. What I did here is I set up some tiers here so we could get the Xenoferrite plates from these two new places. Here, I actually can just use dirt and plug that for now. And I was thinking of running one belt. So let's, let's see, we've got a few loaders. Let's, let's get this, uh, let's get these Xenoferrite plates out of here. And let's see if we can have them offload onto the same belt. So we'll do it like this. And then again, I was thinking we could have a pathway kind of like we have up to our Technum mine. Pathway coming down here with some lighting. And so then it just begs the question, where should we put this belt? Should it be on this side or should it go to the other side? Let's just keep it on the inside. And we'll route this thing down. I'm going to steal one of these, one of these guys back. And then uh, we'll do the belts coming this way see that I'm going to need more belts. Whoops. I want to come down this in a more aesthetic way. Do I have belts being made? Yeah, I've got belts here. I'm actually going to steal these. And let that guy start building some more. We do need to build some more of these angled ones or sloped belts. Let's go ahead and bring this down. Where should we stop? I guess, yeah, let's just follow the path. We can always change it later. I want to get 
too hung up on the minutia. Boom, boom. And then we'll bring this down, boom. Let's make sure that these are set, to, our loaders are set to the output position. There's output, there's output. Now we should see these guys loading uh, or unloading their goods. And again, I was thinking of coming down here and then cutting across this way and then joining up with what we've got going up there or a couple new Technomrod um, assemblers that we put together. Let's see, let's climb up here the slow way. We're also gonna send down this hill uh, these belts. So we can do that as well. Let's go ahead and put our loader here. Drop these belts out. I'm gonna build a few sloped conveyors here because I know we're gonna need those. Let's just grab level ones for now. We can upgrade them later. All right, so we got those. We're gonna to wanna to set this conveyor to output or loader, I should say. And let's go ahead and route these guys out as well. Boom. Get our sloped conveyor here. So this will be cool. This we will be well on our way to science pack twos and chasing down the next set of research. So let's go ahead and bring this the rest of the way down the hill, and then we'll switch over to working on um, beefing up our technum rod production, just kind of like the same thing that we did over here with the xenoferrite. We're going to need at least another two assemblers putting together techno, uh, technum rods for us. Check out the belts. Those look kind of cool on the, uh, on, the, <laughs> on the conveyor. That's pretty sweet. Let's just jump down and put another couple sloped conveyors here to get down this hill. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it looks like it's going to take three to get down that. And maybe I just leave these guys here for now, as is. And let's go walk over to our Technum and see what we can do over here. We're going to need to increase our production. How do we want to do it? I think we could just pop a miner. Let's see. These guys are they are getting close to clearing out this entire row. Let's see. Are they going to drill? They're drilling forward. I wonder if they can get to that bottom one or not. I guess time will tell. For now, I can fill in these blocks pretty much pretty safely. And we know we're not covering up any ore. I'm not sure if they can burrow underneath these building blocks to get at the ore or not. So yeah, for our technum rods, let's see. How do we want to do it? Of course, we just came into nighttime. We definitely can build a platform this way as well and mine it from this side. But I think we can get enough. What if I here a tiny bit and put a miner a drone miner right there let's do that let's craft one just take one of these check this out Elec electric blast furnace so it'd be cool if it had hints let's check a look at the let's take a look at the info database we haven't it hasn't popped up any pages but let's just see if any pages have been added we just get to that by hitting escape and then going to information database. So I don't see anything. The high voltage stuff, that was way early on. Research, we saw that. All this is, is kind of old stuff that we've seen. I was just curious if there was something telling us about this electric blast furnace and what it takes. Maybe, maybe at the end of the episode or next episode, so I won't forget, we can take a build one of these out and just see what it does. I'm guessing that's gonna get us a ton of resource. Oh no, maybe this is uh well we'll find out. I think it's gonna be a smelter like the other furnace, right? So electric blast furnace. 
Yeah, we'll have to just see. We can play with that. Let's see what else we're, we're, we've got that's new that we are not aware of. We've got the advanced machinery parts. It's going to take steel beams. All right. Steel beams. I bet that is from the blast furnace. No, this says requires an assembler and steel ingots. Steel ingots. There we go. Right at the very bottom, you'll see there it says requires blast furnace. So two xenoferrites and two igneum ores. So, wow. So soon. We don't need those for science pack twos. But it looks like pretty soon we're going to need to go get um, igneum ore, which on the map is way, way up there. So anyway, we'll get to that when we get to that. Pretty cool. All right, let's see. Let's uh, place our... Drone miner. We'll pop that down here. Rotate that. Put the panel forward. That's fine for now. All right. And then I'm going to extend our platform out just a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. And now I'm thinking routing, you know, putting two loaders here, clearing out some space here. And adding two more, uh, two more assemblers to process the technomore and the technom rods. So that's going to require a little bit of drilling, a little bit of filling, maybe. So let's do a jump cut while I do that, and we will be right back. Here we go. give us enough space i'm thinking of kind of going back building back here rather than just uh building kind of wide so we can tuck these guys back in here just uh do that so yeah we want to get a couple loaders coming off of these guys one here one here and then we want one belt it's going to snake around. Let's see. Boom. Boom. Like this. And then one belt coming out just one way like that and like that. And then let's... Those are set right. Those loaders are set right. Now we need to place a couple of assemblers. Let's go ahead and extend out our platform. We've got plenty of building blocks. I've been saving these. All right, cool. So these guys are going to come down. And then we need a couple couple of assemblers. Let's make sure we got those crafted. Looks like I do not. I do have a logistics container that we never use. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of assemblers. We'll grab a few more loaders. We know we're always going to need those. And on belts, let's see how we're doing on belts. We've got 53. They're conveyors, I guess they call them. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and plop down our assemblers here. We've got one still being constructed. Let me just take a look here and see. 
really want the panels on these guys. We're going to be coming in the front. Hmm, maybe we can make this look a little nicer. How about... How about we come in the side on this guy? Move the panel forward. We'll leave some room here and do the same with this guy. And then what I was thinking is let's get rid of this and this. And then we will put our loader here like that. Hopefully that's set to input. Yeah, it looks like it is. And we can just drive these guys into here. I think I might need to place this guy first. All right, and let's set the recipe on here to Technum Rods. There it goes. That guy is up and running. Now, again, every time we do one of these things, uh, we're consuming more power. So we just need to be aware of that. And then let's go ahead and shoot another loader out the side of this one. And just try and follow the same pattern. Bring the belt over here. Boom. About there. And rotate it and we can come straight there. There. And let's set our recipe again. Technum rods. Awesome. There they go. They're off and running. Our drone miner is having a good old time. Now I can probably route these out on a single belt. I was thinking of just heading straight out over this stuff. So I may have to build a platform for that. Or we can have the belts levitating in the sky, which doesn't look so great. But we could do it. We could do it temporarily anyway. Bring those down. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking somewhere right in this space is going to be where we do our assembly of Science Pack 2s. And then we can route them right next to the Science Pack 1 conveyor belt and behind the second lab. So let's see, what's the best way to get these guys across? Let's go back up there. Sneak behind here. I think we could do it. Could we do it on a single belt that we then upgrade? Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a couple loaders down. One for you and one for you make sure these are set to output output and then we're going to run a belt here might need to go fetch some more of these or build some they're actually making these things down the hill now so that's kind of cool so what i can do is i can run this belt i think i'm going to run the belt just like this and then for aesthetics later or we could do it this episode. We'll see how much time we have. We could just put some supports going down temporarily and uh, at least make it look like this belt is being supported. Let's go fetch some more belts. I know we have some way over here. I'm going to just do a bunny hop through this mess. Here we go. Oop. And I know this assembler here has some belts for us. So let's just grab these rather than craft them ourselves. There we go. Just grabbed a hundred and there's probably two or four more. Now we'll come over this way. And we're gonna have to start coming down a hill. It might be might be a decent time to start doing that now, actually. Get rid of this guy. And then we will Drop down another level. Here come our Technum rods. Okay, we're looking good. And then I'm just wondering if we want to clear this out or not to give ourselves a little more space. We may not need it. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have an intermediate processing intermediate processing to get the building blocks. And that'll be from these plates and those Technum rods. And then we'll feed the belts. Uh, the 
belts and the and the building blocks into another assembler and that'll get us the science pack twos oh if you see here this is some dirt i put down ages ago i'm just gonna grab these blocks up and maybe destroy them oh look at that it dropped things here i didn't want to do let's clear all that out and i'm thinking of snaking this over let's dig out our platform so i'm going to do another jump cut here and i'm going to dig out a platform i'm going to extend this our low voltage power network all the way over here and recess it into the ground here and do a little more cleanup of this and then what we'll do is we'll put our assembler over here that is going to take the technum rods and take the xenoferrite plates we'll pipe that in here somehow and that's going to give us um building blocks and then we'll pump that into another assembler somewhere over here and then take the belts off of that line pump them in and then spit out our science pack twos out the side not sure how fast the production's going to be we might want to have two but uh it might be worth considering early let's see how do we want to do that well let me clear out the ground here and then we will give it some thought all right, here we go. All right, there we go. We got a little platform to work with. Let's go ahead and bring our our uh, xenoferrite plates over here. And I think we're going to have to route the technum rods this other direction a little bit. So let's just see. Let's go craft a couple assemblers. We can move things around. We'll play around with this a little bit. How many loaders do we have? We've got nine. Let's grab another one of those. A couple more of these. All right, let's just think this through a little bit. We're going to have xenoferrite rods. I mean, we're going to have technum rods coming down. And we're probably going to have two lines. I'm guessing we're going to need two assemblers building the... Uh, I guess I'm going to need two assemblers building the building blocks. So let's go ahead and put those down. We can move them a little bit if we need to. Let's have the panels. Let's have the panels this way. I'm going to just leave enough room. I err on the side of leaving too much space. So we can always expand. We've got plenty of room here. So the idea would be somehow I route these guys in to both to a loader there. And then I route all of this stuff over as well. The problem, the one little issue I have is these lines are going to cross, which is kind of a bit of a bummer. But we're going to end up having to hop over lines here wonder if we should do that back this way because these conveyor belts on this line here we're going to use those in a second set of assemblers that are going to be a little further down from these two so we'll put a couple more assemblers here to actually build the science packs and i kind of want those on this side because they're going to go straight out to the lab but that means I need to use these plates sooner than I need to use these. So I'm going to have to hop over that line. Where I should do that, I guess I could do it. Hmm. Being a little 
clever thing I could be doing here that I'm not thinking about. Let's just take a look at hopping over. If it's going to be an issue or not. I think it is. How am I going to get over that? The other option is to go underneath. Let's try that. Let's dig this out. Oh, <laughs> you can see that's the cavern I kind of filled up. So uh, whatever, this will be interesting. But we don't take fall damage, so we'll be fine. So yeah, I'm thinking of going underneath this belt. Let this guy keep coming through like this, and then we'll come in underneath. I'm not sure. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and drill out under here. Um, can I get to that guy? There we go. Under here. And let's extend that lower belt because we need these guys to cross over. I'm not sure if this is the best place to do it, but again, we can always make it look pretty later. In fact, it's kind of cool going underground. You could, uh, route that underground all the way if we wanted to just for fun It'd take a little bit of work maybe we do an aesthetics uh, episode where we move some belts underground but for now let's just go for speed and let's bring this guy back up again i'm going to just right click and choose the direction for my sloped conveyor and here he comes so that's not horrible and then we're going to have to have him come out this way now and snake on down here about about here then we're gonna need a loader here and a loader here Somehow, we're going to have to bring that stuff in, maybe straight underneath. Just trying to think, because we also need to feed in the Xeno, uh, the Technum rods. So I'm trying to think of how that's going to work. Let's go ahead and bring these in. Let's bring them in just like this. They will share the same belt. We haven't done that yet. I kind of like the going underground thing, so let's do that here up underneath this belt. Oh, we're coming up at the end of the episode here. Let's uh, see if we can get this done real quick. I think we need to go down one more, right? This is a two, two level proposition. Let's grab this guy. We want to change the direction to down. Try and hop out of here. I need to drill one of these out in order to get out. Let's just make sure. I want to make sure I'm not placing this incorrectly. Rotate that guy, and I think it needs to be there. Yeah, so maybe we didn't need to go down as far as we did. Not a big deal. Hop this guy. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Wrong direction. All right. So let's drill this guy out. Take that guy out. We need to feed into this assembler. So let's go back. And now I need to change this to actually up. That's what we wanted in the first place. Up that guy there. Let's belt this stuff in this way. Now we need a downsloped one. So we'll right click and say downslope. That brings us back up. And we want this guy coming this direction. And then one here. So now if I set the recipe on our assemblers, these are going to be building blocks. So they're going to take the xenoferrite plates, and then we have yet to do the technum rods. Right? So hopefully when these plates come through, we'll see them coming into the inventory here. Okay, that guy's taking them. 
And then once that guy fills up, they should pass on through. Let's just see. Here they come. And this guy should take them. And hopefully, this one line, this one compressed line of, of the xenoferrite plates can successfully feed both of these assemblers. They're kind of slow. This is just level one assemblers. So this should work for us. And then in the next episode, we will bring this. Or let's just do it. Let's just do it. This is, we want to get this thing done. Let's just do it. We need a way to get to that, which is going to be a challenge. We could come through here on this side. And we're in the way of the control panel. I don't know if there's a better way of doing it, though, to get around this. We could go underground, but then we're tearing through the platform, which is not the best. Let's see. If we did go underground came up, we went back underground. It might give us just enough to slide a, a belt through there. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. We can come down here. We're going to have to take these guys out. I don't think we're in any risk of losing our power. So we wanted to go down. And then let's take this guy out, and this guy out, and this guy out. And now we want to come up, back up, whoop, rotate, back up. And does that leave us? Oh, it's not in the right spot. I guess I could sneak around. Oh, that's going to be ugly. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because our loader takes up two blocks. Let's go ahead and place that there. We'll bridge this guy and let these guys do their thing. And then the thinking was we have a belt coming over this way. Let me do it. Let's see. Well, we'll find out. We're going to find out if this is an issue or not. And then boom, boom. That is set to intake, so we're good. In fact, well, if we really got clever, if we wanted to get clever, we could put a loader right here. And you want to try that and see? This would be a single belt feeding two loaders. And we just need to get the uh, Technum rods over this way. So let's work back this way. We'll see if this is just hideous or if this works beautifully. We know we need to come up this hill. Like that. And we're going to need to come up again. Let's just do it over here. Up this guy down, come across, and let's see, this guy, let's bring him around. Again, we can uh, tune this design at a later date, but this, I think, is going to get us what we're looking for. Just stop there so I can see where we're at. Okay, I'm going to need to come down. Oops. I'm going to need to come down here. that and set our direction to down like so and pardon the jumping around here we want I gotta fix the direction on these Oops, I messed that up okay boom boom and then I wonder if I can just drag on top of those nope so I got these heading in the wrong direction so let me just delete these out feed these assemblers. So that's correct. And that is correct. And down you go. And down you go. So with any luck, this is all going to work. 
There's a couple unknowns here. But let's just see what happens. Okay, let's go to the other side and check out the control panels and see if they're both getting Technum rods. This guy's going to fill up first. He's full. And now this guy's getting Technum rods. And there we go. Look at that. We're getting building blocks. In fact, I can take some of those. I can always use building blocks. There we go. All right. We're halfway there. Now, uh, next episode, we will take the output of these guys, both of these belts, and either, let's see, we'll bring over our conveyors. Uh, see, here we go at nighttime. The belts do look kind of cool, even without light. I'm like, that looks pretty sweet. I turn off the flashlight here. I think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> but I also think the way the lab is all, I mean, our, I don't know why I keep saying lab. The way our factory is lit up, I think, looks pretty cool to me. I like that quite a bit. All right, so let's wrap this one here. Next episode, like I said, we'll take the belts and bring those over and start building Science Pack 2s, route those to the lab, and get back on our tech tree and start knocking that thing off. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to create a Lab 3 before long. Let's see. I think there's... Let's see how many there are. There's a Research Lab 4 here. So it looks like there's four total. I don't see the five. But next is Research Lab 3. So we've got two more labs we're going to place. But first we got to knock off all this level two research. And then eventually I'll have some off-camera work to do to maybe level this off even more. And we'll just have our four labs in a row. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for sticking with me in this video and in this Let's Play series. Again, the game's Foundry. If you're watching this when it's published or near when it's published, it is available on itch.io right now, early access. Uh, the developers did provide me with a key so I could provide this content to you. This game is in the genre that I like. If you like Satisfactory, Factorio, or Fortress Craft Evolved, maybe there's some others that you guys can suggest that also fit this. Um, then I think this is a game you're, you're going to want to check out. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm not getting compensated to say, <laughs> to say that at all. It's just, uh, this is the kind of game I really like. And it's casual. There's no enemies. Anyway, I'm starting to babble. I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching. This is GliderCat signing off for now.